Welcome everyone to Cooking with Glenn, episode 18. Now I know this might come as a surprise for many of you because you have been asking for this series to come back for about a year now. And well, I'm on vacation, so I figured when better time than now to bring you guys one of my favorite recipes. Now it's Friday, and on Fridays I love to make salmon. So that's what we have here right now. This is a nice Norwegian Atlantic salmon filet. And for our sides, we're going to be making some quinoa and some chopped spinach. Now, I wanted this recipe to be nice, easy, and convenient for all of you, hence why we're going with the steaming bag chopped spinach, because that's exactly what I'm, I'm gonna do, is steam it in bag. Now, with my salmon fillets, some people like to grill them, some people like to bake them, but trust me when I say this, air frying is the way to go. It's quick, it's easy, and you get a nice, like, crispy salmon that kind of falls off your fork as you're trying to dive into it. For seasoning though, I love going with a Cajun seasoning for my salmon. So that's what we're gonna start with here is just seasoning up the salmon. Now, for my preference, I really only like to season the top end of the salmon. Now, I know me saying top end might seem a little confusing. However, a lot of the fillets I get, the bottom, you can see where the skin was cut off and I like to, as you just heard, call that the bottom. So the top is the nice clean part. I like to throw a nice, generous amount of Cajun seasoning on here, just because the flavor. And I, the seasoning helps, I feel, crisp it up. I don't know if that's true or not, but it always comes out nice and crispy. There's times where I've made it with no seasoning and it just doesn't give it the same vibe, right? So you guys can see it's nicely seasoned right now. How I like to cook this in the air fryer is we're gonna throw it on 380. And because it's already in the tin foil, I know air fryers have the, uh, the basket on the bottom, but I honestly believe when you air fry something in tin foil, it's an easier cleanup. It probably also helps cook it a little bit because as the foil heats up, um, the underside gets cooked a little bit more. I don't flip the salmon in here because it gets cooked all the way through the way I do it. So we're gonna throw it in here. Like I said, we're gonna do 380, and I like to cook my salmon for about 18 minutes, and you guys are gonna see this when it comes out, but in the meantime, let's start making these sides up. You guys can see it's all started. Now, we're gonna switch this angle up a little bit, and I'm gonna catch you with the preparing of the sides. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the quinoa. Now, I already have my water in here. I'm gonna pour the quinoa in there. I usually don't measure the quinoa out. I love quinoa, so I just kinda of get a feel for it because right now it doesn't look like a lot, but then when you start to plate it out, it all kind of feels like it expands a little bit. Oh, that was a nice little flame. Um, so I usually start this on medium heat, which you guys can see is at right now. Once the water starts boiling, we're going to move this down to low heat and just let it simmer throughout the duration of the, the salmon being cooked. Now also, I said I was going to steam the spinach in bag, but I'm actually going to plate it um, early just because it'll save time and you don't have to steam the whole bag at that point. You just kind of have to cook what you want. So we're going to throw this in the microwave real quick. And um, see, with frozen vegetables, I don't like them to dry out. So I do actually microwave them in a way on low heat, which you're gonna see for my microwave, it's pretty much, we'll do um, seven minutes, power level, we'll do 60, and then just do start. So I'm gonna come back to you guys when this is all ready, and we're gonna take a look at it, and then we're gonna go from there, and I'm gonna show you guys some little other tricks I like to do with the food. All right, guys, so the spinach is done, and with that being said, it looks like the quinoa is as well. I do like my quinoa kind of soft, um, so that it's not like super crunchy. All we're really waiting on now is the salmon. So I'm gonna work on starting to plate this all up. We're gonna make it look pretty. And then we're gonna have a little taste testing like old times. As you guys can see, that salmon is ready. Let's take a look at that. Oh my God, it looks so beautiful. I'm excited to have this as I am every Friday night, but let's get down to the taste testing. Now I said I had a little trick to show you guys with salmon. Now. Some people like to put pesto on salmon or a balsamic vinaigrette, but trust me when I say this, sriracha might be the hidden gem to go on top of a Cajun seasoned salmon. I've been doing this for a little while now and it really all started 
uh, just for wanting to change the flavor. So I do like do like a nice little pattern of a drizzle on it. But without further ado, let's get into the taste testing. So first we're gonna go with the quinoa. Let's make sure that came out to my liking. As I mentioned earlier, some people do like a little bit of a crunch or a quinoa. I like mine nice and soft um, because sometimes I like to throw a, like a sauce with it and it absorbs, I think, the sauce a little bit better when it is softer. Quinoa came out perfectly to my liking. The one thing I love about adding quinoa to meals is not only is it a great carb, but it's also a complete protein, so you kind of get the best of both worlds there. Let's try the spinach. Spinach came out really good as well. Um, see, by doing it at a lower heat, as I did at like 60% for seven minutes, it retains some of the water as well, so it doesn't really taste super dry when you're eating it, and it comes out really, really good. Now, for the main event, let's take a look at that salmon. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but you can hear that little bit of that crunch I was talking about. It just looked at the inside here, perfectly cooked through. And it really hits the spot. The seasoning with the sriracha as well, just creates this very complex flavor. Now, the reason I love salmon, and I started incorporating it into my weekly meals about a year ago, is it has such a distinct taste and different flavor to any other fish I've ever eaten. And don't get me wrong, I do like white fish, I do like tuna, but there's just something about that flavor of salmon, especially when it's seasoned with the Cajun seasoning, the sriracha, and just the overall regular salmon taste, it's so good. And unlike white fish, it has more of a, like a meatier texture to it, it's not very flaky. It's just so good. I can eat salmon 24-7. And I know it's also one of the more healthier fish when it comes to your omegas, the healthy fats, as well as the high protein content with not a lot of calories to it, guys. So that's how I make my salmon dinner on Friday nights. You know, vegetables and quinoa might be a little different, but the key is to cook the salmon. Trust me when I say the air fryer makes it so much more convenient and you don't get like a really dried out salmon uh, filet as well as a sriracha. Two little hidden packs here um, that make this a really quick and convenient dinner. Take a chance at it, test it out. You won't be disappointed. As always guys, thank you for tuning in to Cooking with Glenn, episode 18. I hope to be bringing you guys more of these in the future uh, as time permits. Sometimes it's a little rough with the setup but leave the recipes down below that you want me to attempt in the future, and we'll give it a shot. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, eat well. I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.